Ladies and gentlemen, back on Friday over in Japan, there was a brand new Pokemon card set that just came out. So you already know, I had to express fly this bad boy into uh, the Unlisted Least studio right here. And we're going to crack it open. We're going to have a look at the set that features the brand new Pokemon, Calyrex. Now, they actually went all out for this set, and apparently, like, from what I've been told from people over in Asia, it's really popular. So, we got Jet Black Spirit, which is set number one right here, and Jet Black Spirit has some fantastic looking cards in there, and then we've also got Silver Lards. Um, I think Jet Black is the more popular one, and I don't 100% know why, I mean, maybe it's because it's got Shadow version, or like the Shadow Rider version of Calyrex right here, which comes in all sorts of fantastic alternate arts, full arts and all that, but there is also, get this, a full art Rainbow Rare Celebi card. Oh, mama, I know everyone on Instagram was talking about that. So, I think we'll unbox this one first. And don't even worry, guys, it does contain a magical double barcode. Oh, yeah. But before you start freaking out over the double barcode like a bunch of weirdos, there is the uh, other set, which is like, you know, we've got A set, B set. This is Silver Lance, and guys... The only thing you need to know about this is that it contains a gorgeous looking, one of a kind, full art and alternate art Tornadus card. So you already know I'm like the only person on the internet that's going to be hunting for that card, but then you've also got Ice Rider version of Calyrex, which is like, you know, you got the, I don't know, scary one and the nice one. That's how I sort of view it. But let's open up the fan favorite Jet Black first and trim the tops of the boosters off and get this party started. I'm so excited for a new Pokemon card set definitely thumbs up the video. Alright, so as per usual guys, I will link where to buy this set on eBay down in the description, but you gotta promise me if little Timmy goes and purchases a brand new booster box of either for like Silver Lance, either Jet Black Spirit, just don't trim the tops of the booster packs like and cut the cards, alright? If you're gonna trim the tops of the packs, feel out where the card is and then go for the snip snip. Because I get too many tweets, I swear, after every Japanese opening that I somehow encourage little Timmy to trim the tops of the cards. So just be really careful. Um, and also if you're buying a Japanese set for the first time, it is a bit of a ruthless setup. There's only five cards per booster and you are not even guaranteed a regular rare. So let's do this thing on the very first booster. Oh, of Jet Black Spirit, we get a scroll uncommon. But I think this one's actually a really cool set. I mean, just the name, Jet Black Spirit. Oh, mama, I get the tingles just like saying it. But then, Rainbow Rare Celebi, a Shadow Rider Pokemon. Oh, that's not too bad. Weevil right there as our very, very first holo card. Looking good. That's the first one ever out of the set. That's awesome. Nice, uh, pretty decent set as well. 70 cards. And get this, if you buy both of these booster boxes and you're like, you know what, I'm going to try and collect the entire sets for both of them, there are 50 secret rares to get, meaning there's 50 ultra rares, full arts and all that. Oh, shout out to Mareep at the back, everybody. There we go. That is amazing. There's actually a Mareep card. So there's probably like an Ampharos in this set as well. Uncommon. That's a good artwork. Galarian Weezing. Really nice hand-drawn setup. But have you guys got Calyrex in the video games? Have you played up to that point, bought the DLCs and all that? I'm very curious how many of you guys know about it. Because I know when I first went over Urshifu, a lot of you guys were- Oh my- Why is the Tapu still in the set? Why are they- Like, I swear if I see another Tapu Coco, I'm jumping out the window. I mean, I don't mind the other ones, I like Tapu Lele and all that, they're fine, but... Gee whiz. You can do as many Tapu Finnies, Leles, whatever, just no more Tapu Cocos. I'm really tapped out right now. One from the back. But yeah, I remember when I talked about Urshifu when he first came into the set and he got introduced into English, not a lot of people knew about him. Um, so I'm curious if it's the same with Calyrex right here or not. That is spooky, but it kind of fits the theme, Jet Black Spirit. Now, I don't know what a ratio for a booster box is, but if we're going off a normal Japanese opening right now, it should be about one full up per box. And we should get a good variety of like V and V Max cards. I'm just hoping for one Calyrex because that's the mascot. Hoping for a Celebi because that's a big fan favorite. And there's a few cool, like, there's a gold card in the set, Electrode. Randomly enough, that's the shiny gold card to get out of Jet Black Spirit. And the first pull of the box is a Blissey V card. Yo, what? Blissey's in the set? That's amazing. All right, definitely going to take that. Look at it, she's literally getting in on the action right there. Absolutely smacking the bejeebus out of something, but I'll take it. Blissey V right there. 
Looking good, so I'm pretty sure you should be able to get, is it Blissey is like a, maybe a full art or something like that? Because they've all got V cards, but then they've also got the next level up, which I presume is a full art as well. Golduck? Okay, not too shabby. Mareep again? Probably could double up on as many Mareeps as I want. Side up in a beautiful hand-drawn artwork, and then form already off the first pile. It's VMAX, Shadow Rider, Calyrex right there. Oh, he looks good. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of the mascot? Look at the pattern. The horse is literally embossed to beyond and back. Can you see that? The, like, reins, I guess it is, are really prominent in this card. And it's the Shadow Rider VMAX right there. This also comes a Rainbow Rare, which I wouldn't even be mad at. I would love the alternate artwork, but Rainbow Rare version of this would be amazing. I'm so happy we got the mascot on the first pile. I think that leaves a really good room for the rest of the uh, opening right here. And I'm also wondering, do you reckon that's guaranteed? Because sometimes they guarantee you pull the mascot just to make sure you get one VMAX right there. Top so it team. could be... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this box, guys. Ampharos. But I've got a good feeling that's probably what they do. They just chuck the mascot in each one. Let's go one for the back. And I'm really keen for uh, Silver Lance, the booster box next to us that we're going to open up in a sec. Guys. Tornadus is in the set. How good. As an alternate artwork and a full art. Oh! That's not even bad. That is not even bad. I will 1000% take this. Oh, that is gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, have you not bought this set? Because this is incredible and I'm so keen for it to come out in English. Shilling Rain is going to be awesome. But look at this. Metagross full art V card. And the texture. Oh, that is a gorgeous Pokemon card. Guys, this is why I collect Japanese stuff. Like, not just because it's earlier than, like, English, but the artwork and quality of card? Oh, it's unmatched. So that's a secret rare right there. Only got 24 more to go till we collect the whole Jet Black range. And only 49 to go till we get all the secret rares across the two sets. Wow, that's awesome though, guys. Yo, what the heck is this pile? We started on the right one, didn't we? Alright, let's put you at the back. We've got a lot of cards to open up today. Pikachu, you've got to hold him safe, alright? Man, I don't even know. Like, the thing is, right, if we get something crazy, so say we get an alternate artwork, uh, Calyrex or something like that, right? You can't even grade it. Like, honestly, PSA is closed for at the moment. And if you wanted to grade it, you'd have to send it to, like, Beckett or CGC, and I don't know. It, yo, that, guys, am I, um, am I just a sucker for starters? But that is a gorgeous artwork right there. And a Malamar as the Uncommon. One from the back. We're nearly done with the left-hand side right here. Another Uncommon. Ladybug. Oh, what the heck? Octovish is in this set? That's pretty good as well. He looks way too happy. Like, suspiciously happy right there. 220 on the attack right there. Busting out some ice. He's jumping for joy. And I'm pretty sure he comes as a full art card as well in this set. Now, I think I'm really curious right now because we've got so many pulls. We're, like, getting things left, right, and center. Octovish right there. we got the full art. we got the VMAXs. And look how many packs we got left. So I'm low-key just hoping right now that maybe they change the ratio of a booster box or there is a sneaky gold card because when they put gold cards into Japanese booster boxes, they're randomly... What an artwork! This different card... Oh, this is amazing! Okay, I don't know about you guys. Look at this. It's a blue Cacleon. Then we got... A... It's almost a transparent purple because he's blending into the leaf in the background. Green upside down. Is that one there? Yeah, I think it is. Transparent um, tail... There's a red one up here. There's another transparent one here. I feel like I'm playing a real life uh, version of Pokemon Snap. Oh, by the way, Pokemon Snap comes out Friday. And if you want me to do a Let's Play or unboxing, leave a comment. 10,000 likes, Ando does. Ando brings back, Ando plays. Pokemon Snap on Friday, I'm so keen for. Um, But there's something at the end here. What is it? Oh, Gengar, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? They pulled all the stops out. What a, what a random set to pull all of the stops out with. Low-key banger artwork. Um, I'll do a recap with both of the booster boxes, I reckon. I won't do one at the end of this one. We'll wait till we open up the other booster box. And then we'll do a recap as if you bought two boxes. Oh my gosh! We just pulled a Celebi V card! This is ridiculous! I'm gonna pull every V card out of one box! Yo! That is sick! Even the V cards hand drawn, mysterious, and mythical. Unlisted Leaf, 190. 
Guys, it is a problem when it's my first booster box because I could just stare at the artwork for way too long. But today's not the day. We've got an entire right hand side to burn through right now. You'll also notice the glove cards are really prominent. They go through all the elements, so there's a lot of glove cards to get. But can we get a regular uncommon? We can. All right. What are you thinking? I don't know. I'm praying for a gold card right now because that left hand side was crazy town. Um, and I, that ratio, if we get too much else, is going to be quite insane, isn't it? Beautiful Cacleon card right there. And another Talon Flame as the uncommon. Maybe we'll get a cut. See, that's what I'm talking about. They look like Ratchet and Clank accessories. Ratchet and Clank accessories. You know in the video game where you can go and buy upgrades? Kind of reminds me of that. What is he smacking? I'd love to know. Maybe he's just hitting the tree stump. Oh, wow! Then we go and get Rillaboom. That's so ironic, but what an artwork. 120, 60, 180. Even just the artwork, guys. All of this is so really well hand-drawn uh, and all that. Gorgeous stuff. Okay. That's pretty funny. We got Rillaboom after. I mean, I got a lot of Rillabooms out of uh, Shining... Shining Fate, so a bit sick of him, but I think when you get a new artwork, it sort of resets my passion. I'm like, you know what? I can accept a few more Rillabooms. All right. I think. Oh my god, I think there's something at the back of this one as well, guys. Golduck, has form, and then... Oh yes! Okay, VMAX Celebi! You're kidding, no way! Beautiful rainbow background right there. He looks gorgeous as... How is that? I'm so happy with all the pulls today. If we're going to get two VMAXs, why wouldn't it be the mascot, Calyrex, and then Celebi as well? And then the Metagross full art. Guys, the recap's going off right now. Celebi VMAX. That VMAX feels a bit like if I was going to make a VMAX, that's what I'd presu presume it would like kind of look like. Look at this art. This is equivalent to me coming back from the grocery store ready to cook dinner. So that VMAX is like pretty stock standard, I think, as far as art goes. It's when you dabble with either the Rainbow Rare version of that, looks crazy, or the alternate arts. They look insane as well. But let's keep going. The wacky to the side. Oh, my favorite. Green's just like, he's hoarding it all. Look at him. That's my favorite Christmas sweater with his big mug on it. About like uh, halfway through the right hand side, I want to say almost over with our first Jet Black Spirit Booster Box. I'm going to need everyone to. Oh my! Are you kidding? I'm genuinely curious how many we've got right now, because this is nuts. What is he doing as well? He's really just going to town or something. Metagross V-Card. That's epic because we just pulled the V, so now we've got the collection. I genuinely don't think... I mean, unless you guys like are really keen on it and you're like, Andrew, you do it. I, unless you want to search for the Rainbow Rare Celebi, probably don't have to open another box. Like, I'm pretty content with what we got today. And it's rare I say that. Usually I'm like really gunning for a particular card, but I'm really happy with what we got so far. Zeb Striker, beautiful. Ooh, wow, Cresselia, what the heck? No way. <laughs> this is crazy, all the different selection of Pokemon. The hollows hit different though, don't they? They look gorgeous. All right, put you at the back, about five to go right now. But yeah, you guys in the comments are gonna have to judge Freelance, or Silver Lance, or Jet Black Spirit. Which booster box is a better one? Which one makes up a better purchase? Because maybe, I was going to say, maybe the pulls are better in the uh, other set, but let's presume this set's actually been OP. So we just got to guess, I reckon. Oh, it's another holo. Wow. Are you serious? What is he doing? Why is every Pokemon in the set so mean? I would genuinely love to know. What the heck? <laughs> He's ripping the tree out of the socket. But I suppose it goes with the name Jet Black Spirit. You don't really uh, think of anything less, do you? Final three boosties. Let's get it. I mean, if we could get a gold on the final three, what a build up that would have been. Um, th again, the artwork, cameos, a bomb of snow in the background, a sneasel, and another scroll. Second to last pack, guys. Let's do it, swing it around. Pretty, uh, yeah, I know, there's pretty a lot of like heaps of trainers to get in the set. We haven't got any of those either. And, okay, now we start doubling up. And this is the gamble, I guess, because the set isn't insanely huge and they do have to make up a good amount of like holos and V cards. The holos are we gonna start doubling up on, especially if you open up a second booster box of the same kind. And yeah, and, and an energy card to finish it off. 
Their energies are really big in the Japanese sets. There is a full art golden energy you can get out of this one as well. But for now, we're gonna open up this bad boy right here, the brand new Silver Lance Booster Box. So yeah, without further ado, let's do a time lapse and let's have our fingers crossed. We can pull another Calyrex or Tornadus. Alrighty guys, I gotta say Silver Lance is gonna have a tough break right now trying to compete with what just happened in Jet Black Spirit. The pulls, the Pokemon, like I don't know. Even Shadow Rider Calyrex looks epic and Ice Rider I'm yet to be sold on. So let's get into it. You guys are gonna officially judge this boxing battle down in the comments. We got Ralts and a regular scroll to start it off as the Uncommon, which seems to be a bit of a theme with these sets. But you guys, as I said, are gonna be the B.O. and Endo. Let's find out which one is a bit better. Teddy Ursa looking so gorgeous right there. And then, oh, Tauros as our very first holo card. The selection of Pokemon is so peculiar. As I mentioned before, um, it's definitely one of a kind. And these sets really just knock it out the park. And I kind of understand why these were really hard to get. Like Drowsy, fantastic choice. Awesome artwork. Celio as well. And to end it with another Porygon, this is Porygon 2 right here. I was going to say Porygon Z, but look at him. So are all the Porygons in the set? They must be. Because I remember just seeing Porygon original on the side of the box, so that's pretty epic. One of my favorite uh, Pokemon Go ones, when Pokemon Go first came out, the original 151. Always hunting for Porygon. Got more gloves right there. And then, none other than a Tornadus! Come on, as our very first Beacon! Now we're just gonna get the full art or alternate artwork. Ando's gonna get it on this set right now. I didn't want to jinx it, but there we go. This is an amazing start. My first ever V card out of Silver Lance was a Tornadus. Yes, come on. Look at him just pounding away right there. I know he's not thunderous, but it's the next best thing, guys. 180 as the attack. Sheesh! That's awesome. Okay. He looks really, really good, doesn't he? Now, come on, come on, come on. Arceus, I really want the full art. Or alternate artwork. Or just give me a Calyrex alternate artwork as well. They look equally as gorgeous. What the heck is that? It's a helmet. It's a Viking helmet with, like, really pointy edges on it. Definitely not child safe, that thing. Okay, let's keep going. Very wintry vibe or an icy vibe, I suppose, because Ice Rider. And look at that. Another uncommon right now. Okay, one from the back. Swing it around. Oh, I've got good vibes. I reckon I saw something at the back. Lapras. Shop it. Then. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Galarian slow, bro. You've got to take that as a beaut... Is he holding slime coming out of his ear right now? I don't know what kind of Nickelodeon-sponsored Pokemon card this is, but that is disgusting. It's, it's just pouring out. It's literally just pouring out right now. Holy Aunt Jemima. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put that to the, uh, to the back right now, but... Ando's a little creeped out. He's just pouring slime, which is like earwax coming out of his shell. That's so weird. All right, anyway, let's keep it going. Come on, Crossall. You gotta provide the goods, Phil. And then, oh, it's Anaconda, a Pokemon I am so sick of seeing. I also found it funny that, uh, what is it, my buddy Neon Cactus, he pointed this out. If you flip Anaconda VMAX around, it's the appropriate way, because it's just a pile of poo. It's literally the poo emoji, isn't it? I don't know, Santa Conda doesn't seem to be a big crowd favorite at the moment, and he's like getting put into every set. So, a lot of people are saying this is why it lets the set down. But what do you think? Are you a big hater of Santa Conda? Do you not mind? So yeah, we'll put him at the back, the colors are cool no matter what. Um, but that's a VMAX. And the best thing about that is we, I think we are due for like one more minimum VMAX, so we should be able to get another thing right there. That's definitely not the Beyond End All. Source Box? Getting a good Christmas vibe right now. Come on, Fro Fur. You've got to provide the goods and another trainer as the uncommon. I reckon we might get a trainer as our full art card for this box right now. Or we could get the uh, gold card because the gold is a shiny bronze or bronze on, sorry. Look at that. Porygon Z this time. I've definitely seen this. This artwork got released ages ago. Dude, that is, look at all the blocks that make it up. Oh my goodness. What are, These holo cards are great. Yeah, I really like the artwork. I think this set's done really, really well. Both of them, actually. Hand-drawn vibes all the way. Looks like some sort of camping gear right there. Porygon. What is he doing? He's like building up the biggest snowball. Absolutely ready to whoop someone. And that was another regular uncommon. 
This is the fourth to last of the left hand side. I got a feeling the right hand side's really gonna come out and provide the goods with none other than a Galarian Rapidash. Yeah, Galarian Rapidash, huge part of this set. The alternate artwork I'll put on screen right now, gorgeous. But I gotta say, every artwork of Galarian Rapidash, fantastic. Look at the colors, guys. If you like, I don't know, we'll say Fairy Floss was gonna be a Pokemon, this is exactly what I'd imagine it looking like. And then it's just got the biggest unicorn glowing horn ever. It looks epic. It's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Galarian Rapidash. Now, that's a Pokemon I can get behind. I actually don't mind um, that getting more praise in the TCG, especially the way it is in this set. Oh, look at this. Hypno. What, why is he doing that stance? Bit of a weird stance. Anyway, okay, let's keep it going. And then... Oh, Lipod. Interesting. You can, I don't know about you guys, but when I see Lipod, I generally can just see this being in the English TCG. Like, this is a classic V card that would definitely be in a uh, Chilling Rain booster pack, wouldn't it? Lipod right there. Hmm, Lipod must come as a full art as well in this set. Oh man, I'm nervous. What full art are we going to get in this booster box now? It's just got me thinking. My mind's working over speed right now. Have a look, and then Ursaring. Wouldn't it be cool to give Ursaring a full art? Gen 2 as like a modern day set. Oh, that'd be awesome. All right, let's finish off. Final booster of the left hand side. Oh, that's a Cinder. What the? Cinderace? Okay, another starter? Jeez, <laughs> fair enough. I just didn't see that coming. I didn't see a starter being in the set. Like, there's no advertisement at all for that. But okay, let's take it where we can. Absolutely kicking the soccer ball. Pure flames right there. Let's put the holo at the back. Okay. You can probably tell, it's generally like my first time seeing a lot of the un uncommons and commons. I really just saw a couple of the ultra rares for the set. But this right here, it's the final pile of the two booster boxes. And it's going to decide the fate of which booster box is better. So guys, we still got the full light to go. Potentially could have a gold card show up at any minute. Ding dong, the cameo's arrived. Let's find out where he is. Now, this was equivalent to that Night Forest Star Pokemon card we saw in the previous set, but this one covered in ice. Uncommon. Man, it's gonna go down to the final couple of boosters, isn't it? I know it is! Okay, Drowsy, and then Porygon. Oh, Zarude! Brand new artwork, I love they're implementing a lot of the new Pokemon, you know? Calyrex, Urshifu, Zarude. They're all getting massaged back into the TCG, so we're not missing any beats right now. And you know why I reckon they're really trying to catch up to the video games and the movies and all that? They're really trying to work and wait for a special announcement at the end of the year, 25th anniversary. I just reckon something crazy is coming and they're preparing for it. Plus, I also think there should be a crazy Diamond and Pearl Pokemon card set getting released. That's going to be epic because it's got to line up with the video games, surely, right? If they're remaking Diamond and Pearl, surely they'll remake the TCG of some kind. Another holo. Guys, the full light has to be around the corner. Come on. <laughs> Let's not play around. Let's not play games right now. Uncle Lando's heart is racing. Source box. I'm looking at you, bud. Come on. Frofer. Oh, it's the mining equipment or like camping gear right there. One from the back. Back to the weird stance. Hip. No, he's doing some sort of weird stretch I don't want to know about. And then... Oh, yes, I told you. It's going to be one of each set. Look at that. Ice Rider Calyrex right there. Look Epic. Now imagine that if we got in a rainbow rare, we'd probably have to say, I reckon we'd send both of them off to CGC so I can have like the regular VMAX and the rainbow rare both slabbed up, but the colors are beautiful. What do you think? This one or do you like the uh, Shadow Rider more? Colors on this are pretty good, but maybe it's because I haven't seen too much of this Pokemon as a TCG card before. Wow, okay, so that's the VMAX. But that's like, that's not a secret rare. That's not anything too crazy and like out of this world right now. This, this is still gonna come through with something right now and I reckon we might be able to get, oh here we go, there we go. It's really heating up the regular form right now. So we just got the V Max and now you're gonna get the regular V. Okay, could you imagine? We just got the double cheeseburger and it's like the perfect double cheeseburger, just a bit backwards because we should have got the V then the V Max, but whatever. We got the V Max, then we got the V. Could you imagine right now? Uncle Lando pulls another Calyrex, but it's the ultra rare. It's the fuller of the uh, box. Either alternate artwork or rainbow rare. That would literally blow my pants off. 
to Mars, and Elon Musk would have to go and rescue them himself. Okay, let's pretend that booster never existed. Let's do the next one. Come on. And I know the Ultra Rare is going to be in here, because in Japan, as I always say, Japan literally say to the general public, if you buy a booster box doesn't have a full lot, you can file for a refund, we'll send you a brand new one. Because, oh, it's the Holo Gardevoir, okay. Another fan favorite? They really tried to even out the set by chucking in a few fan favorites. But yeah, definitely a full lot inbound. Another pair of gloves. This time it looks like the gloves you get your cookies out the oven with. Shop it, and then... Okay. All right. Four, five. I think it's five. I think it's five packs to go. Which one is it going to be on? Or do I have an error box where I will then run you through the online form of getting a refund for your booster box? <gasps> We're doubling up on hollows. Wow, it would do us nasty like this, wouldn't it? Fourth to last boosty. Come on, you're making me a little bit nervous right here, Drowsy. Dude, no way. Third to last one. One from the back. If we go and get something like a gold card and a full art... Dude! Holy smokes! It's literally come down to the second to last pack right here! Let's do it for the team! It's the other! What the heck is that? Is it? It's the Alterna artwork of Galarian Rapidash! Oh my, Ajumima in West Virginia! That is the definition of a gorgeous Pokemon card and may have taken Silver Lance overriding Jet Black Spirit right now because that that is a pull of the century. Demolish the like button. Let me know in the comments who won that battle. But oh my goodness, that is epic. Look at it. So guys, wow, that was so worth the wait. Now, do you think there's going to be something else in the, in the next pack or not? What the heck? I pulled an Alterna artwork. They're actually really hard to pull in Japan. So I'm psyched about that. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Pause the video on the one of the HD shots if you want or... um. The recap's like two seconds away. Final pack though, final pack. What do you reckon? Surely nothing else. And I was right, nothing else. Let's do a recap though. Alrighty guys, so pretty much on the recap right now of both Silver Lance and Jet Black Spirit, let me know which one you guys like the most and how excited are you for Chilling Rain in a month or two where we're gonna see all these cards and more from Japan all get funneled into that massive set. Like you know, if this is the recap for just two boxes, one English set, it's gonna blow you out the water. But let's have a look at some of these holo cards. Um, if you were to buy on eBay, which I will link down in the description, uh, about two booster boxes. This is roughly the recap you should be looking at. I don't know, I put these together and I'm thinking that I reckon the Jet Black Spirit artwork on the holo cards is a little cooler because there's always like an aqua action like sequence going on. And then the Pokemon as well, like Gengar, that's just pure epicness. Rillaboom looks amazing though. Don't get me wrong, got the Gengar. So yeah, what do you guys think? I reckon Jet Black Spirit does win a few categories and we'll get to those as well. The Tapus as well, but we end up getting a Blissey V card right here. Octovish V as well. Then that gorgeous looking Celebi, which I think is probably gonna have a huge fan following, especially the VMAX in a second. Metagross V. I know, I know, we didn't get the full up, but little Timmy, if everyone wants another unboxing, I'll go buy some more boxes. We'll find. Tornadus Full Art, all right? Thunderous Full Art's coming soon, hopefully. <clears throat> Pokemon, listen. Uh, then we got Galarian Rapidash, Lipod. I love it. Ice Rider, Calyrex right there. We'll come back to him in a second. VMAX Celebi. All you Celebi lovers. Now, here's the Shadow Rider, and we can compare it to the Ice Rider. Which VMAX is better? I think this one looks a little epic. Like, don't you think it looks way more epic? And the texture on the horse. Yeah, I'd probably give it to Shadow Rider. It looks a bit more epic, but you guys can let me know in the comment section below. Sanaconda, aka the Pooh Emoji, and the two fuller cards. We got Metagross right here. I think the background swells are amazing. I honestly think, I don't know, like, that is such a stunning Pokemon card. Like, they would have spent hours on that artwork, but isn't that just a simple but cool Pokemon card? Let me know what you think. I reckon that was a great booster box opening. I had so much fun. Hopefully you guys did too. As I said, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 3 million subscribers. I appreciate everyone for watching. Have a fantastic day. Hopefully you get good polls. So I wish you luck. If you've opened it, let me know your polls. Most of all, we're going to keep on gaming. All right, guys, next time, I'll see you then.